Hello and welcome to another modelling video. This is Alan from the Mokana Man at YouTube with another modelling video. Today is the second update for my Gunpla Builders World Cup entry. Six 1144 scale kits of uh, various grades and types on top of a diorama depicting a medieval gothic style armor detail texture look on a diorama fighting with melee weapons. Now we could see here that uh, we've gone from just two models to four models being uh, currently worked on and we'll talk about uh, each piece where they're up to what their goals are and what I plan to do with them. First we have um, the Gaffran, very interesting uh, armour. This was a advanced grade and it is completely primed and uh, nearly 90% done. I've got to texture him and then he's ready for painting. The guy's meant to be a tad uh, rough as guts, going to be very rusty, rustic. Uh, whatever. He is a dead character which would be under some debris, some uh, 2x4 over him, and I still have a weapon to make for him, but uh, it shouldn't take long at all. Interesting notes is I have the chain mail around his uh, hips came out, and I'll show you how uh, I've done that. And then arrow coming out of his chest, belt connecting the uh, shield to his arms. And even though there's a mixture of texture throughout his body, that will be uniformed uh, very, very shortly. So there's not much more to do on this guy. He's uh, practically done, but he's only a very minor character in the build. Now the Gyan. Um, he's going to be a bit tricky compared to the uh, other ones. I uh, slimmed uh, his legs down a bit to give a nice profile like his uh, waist, which is the plastic's completely gone. All that remains is the putty on the inside. His skirt's going to extend. I haven't gotten around to do that, but you can see the metal supports that is in uh, preparation for that. The back is filled, no backpack, and all uh, the joins are filled. He's going to be a non-articulated uh, figure. Uh, he's going to be probably the heaviest I'll be playing with in uh, texture, an absolute new technique that I will be uh, inventing especially for the hobby. And he's going to be a, a bit special, a uh, very special figure, though still in the background, and you'll see why later on um, when I review some uh, photos and what he is going to be, or his armour is going to be based on. He has what's known as a buckler, a very, very small uh, shield. Not a big shield. It has an interesting medieval renaissance-esque uh, weapon. That's done. That's uh, by shrinking his existing shield to be tiny, putting an edge, which took a little while, as you can imagine, the amount of uh, marbled uh, putty work. And at the moment, I'm working on the metal boss for the middle, which will be separated and painted um, until, uh, or glued together until painting is done. That's still rough as guts, though uh, I've only just uh, formed it. Now, how I made that is I lubricated the top of the shield with um, KY jelly and uh, made a ball of putty and put it on top, let it dry, clean off the um, lubricant, which uh, prevents the putty sticking to the plastic. And it's completely, the shape completely conforms to that shape, no problems gluing, and I just have to make that uh, top bit nice and round, and that's going to be a complete scratch build part. He is also going to have a helmet. The helmet is going to be uh, really, really detailed. Um, what I did was the same thing, lubricated his head with KY jelly, slopped on some uh, two-part putty, uh, I did a, it was very, very uh, floppy and crappy looking. I did a ton of uh, grinding on the Dremel to uh, get it into a, a uniformed shape. Puttied the hell out of mistakes, cracks, whatever. And it's going to take a little while to form to be a refined piece before it is uh, furtherly detailed. And I've also started uh, building his sword. 
Um, I think a few of the characters will have the same sword, so once finished it's going to be cast, and a few of these guys will be wielding this uh, very same weapon. Um, joints padded up. He is also going to have a massive protruding uh, cod piece, which would be uh, humorous. Zaku one, nothing special about him at the moment. No, a lot of work will be done to him. I think he's going to be the next that I'm going to do heavy work on besides uh, the gown, which is going to be an ongoing thing. He's going to be a massive project. This guy will still be pretty big, but uh, it will not be as tricky as it is a high grade that I'm detailing and not a no grade, though his proportions are already pretty good. The uh, reason why I want some of the no grades is that they've got very special uh, proportions and it's going to make the build very uh, unique. All that's done is here, no weapons. Uh, this is how he'd be portrayed. He's uh, going to have his proportions uh, messed with, made shorter and um, larger. I'm going to add on some putty in some areas to make him a tad um, fatter. He is going to be a very fun uh, project. Uh, again, not much that done, but uh, putting together and filling in seam lines and stuff took about a week and a bit. So that's still a time-consuming process, yet very vital to uh, the finish of uh, this piece. The two GMs. I've just started this guy last night, got that far. I will not be filling in the seam lines. You'll see why, because he's going to have a major, major texture overdo. You'll almost not completely recognise him besides his head, which is the only thing being uh, changed. Anywho, he will be assembled by tomorrow. The other side, this guy is uh, a little more tricky. I'm going through the process of building a uh, no gray properly with uh, the seam lines uh, filled. Then do the next stage, next stage. Very, very time consuming. And to make matters worse, I did a seam line filling tutorial squadron putty review. So I had to do an example of what primed piece would look filled and unfilled. So that's uh, taken extra time off uh, this uh, particular kit. Not a problem at all. So already a lot of work has been done, but not as much as I would have uh, hoped. Uh, being uh, summer, weather's been hot, been fairly busy, been a bit tired, not as energetic. And on top of that, I've been spending a lot of time finishing another uh, big project, the... Dowage, which is covered in uh, Zimmereth, and it's absolutely uh, fabulous. I've been working on it for more than a year, though. I'm going to get that done, reviewed very shortly. I think it's going to be a very popular kit, one of the best uh, no-grades I've uh, put together. Uh, much better than the uh, last one I've um, done. I can't remember what that's called. All in all, I'm going to keep hammering away at uh, this project, but when these two big no-grades are finished, and besides just some tanks here and there, and the group build that I'm um, entered, uh, this thing will have a much higher priority. But uh, a couple of hours here and there, and it will surely move along when uh, time starts to run out. Um, I should be in an okay place to uh, motor on much harder. So in the end, uh, this is the update. Uh, hopefully there'll be another one in two, three weeks, and my goal is to have the two GMs uh, put together. Uh, lots of work done on the Zaku, lots of work done on the Gian, and the Giridoga started at least. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As uh, always, catch you guys later.